Super Mario Galaxy 3, the game we also desperately wish to happen, but not sure if it ever will. I myself have grown rather impatient and have begun wondering what's taking them so long. It's a huge opportunity staring them straight in the face, so why isn't this actively being developed? In this video, I'll explain the reasons we very well could get a Mario Galaxy 3, as well as some of the reasons why it might not even be a possibility. As a final touch, I'll be pitching my own storyline for this game at the end of this video, so be sure to watch this to its entirety. Now with the intro out of the way, I'm not going to waste any more time. Nintendo is planning something big. We already discussed that a few months ago, but now even more information has emerged relating to Mario. It's only a codename for Mario's next game, so it's nothing super huge. But it does confirm a Mario game is being developed. Which, I mean, are we really surprised? It's been like, seven years. But that brings me to my first point, which is the chance of this game being Mario Galaxy 3. I don't know if you've noticed, but Mario is changing. With the Mario movie releasing and now Mario Wonder, Mario is nearing another peak in popularity, and it's all because of the new things they're doing. Compare Mario Wonder to the rest of the Mario platformers, it's different. And it's very possible that Nintendo will double down on this new era of Mario and create something completely new, meaning no Galaxy 3, not even Odyssey 2. Another thing to consider is that Mario Galaxy 2 only sold a little over half of what Galaxy 1 sold, and with competition being at an all-time high with Nintendo's next console on the rise, I've got a bad hunch that they're not even going to consider reviving a game that's a decade and a half old. Why would they add a third installment to a game whose sequel, mind you, wasn't even really supposed to exist? They actually wanted to add onto Mario Galaxy 1, but their ideas got so big they just ended up making an entire new game instead. If they make a third game, they would have to reinvent how Mario Galaxy plays as a game altogether, shake up the formula like what Breath of the Wild did to the Zelda series just to keep things fresh in this ever-evolving world of digital entertainment. My point being, with the direction they're going in, a new Mario Galaxy might not be probable. But that's not going to scare away my hope. There still might be a silver lining to all of this. It's no secret that Nintendo loves their beloved Super Mario Galaxy. They love the image it's created, they love the iconic music that came with it, they love Rosalina, just like me. Think about it, they use it everywhere, I mean, just look around. In fact, allow me to run down the list. <clears throat> Exhibit A, Super Mario 3D World. Normal at first, with the main objective of beating Bowser, with four classic characters to choose from. But then, after you unlock World Star, you're greeted with Rosalina herself, making an appearance at the end of the level and becoming available as a playable character. And if that wasn't enough, they even added the Comet Observatory in the background of the level. Throughout the stage, we saw Octoombas, 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 just like in Super Mario Galaxy. And if that wasn't enough cameos from Mario Galaxy, the Comet Observatory music plays in World Crown once you unlock it. But it doesn't stop there. During the entirety of Champions Road and a few other select stages, the Gusty Garden Galaxy theme plays, the prized possession of Nintendo's music selection, to which brings us to exhibits B and C. Let's take a look at the Mario Kart series. The first thing I want to bring attention to is Cloudtop Cruise. Now, considering how many sales this game has, there's a high chance that you've played this and already know what I'm talking about, and that is the Gusty Garden theme cleverly weaved into Cloudtop's melody. I'll give you a listen. As you can see, or well I guess here, they used Gusty Garden yet again. They just can't get enough of that song. Now if we switch it up and look at Mario Kart 7, they gave Rosalina her own stage, Rosalina's Ice World. This has little elements from Mario Galaxy sprinkled throughout the course, including this beacon which is reminiscent of the observatory, and a planet that's literally just a picture of Gateway Galaxy. If we switch it up even more and take a look at Mario Kart Wii, Rainbow Road has literal star bits floating throughout the stage, and a cannon that resembles a launch star. Now, let's not lose our momentum. Exhibit C, the Mario movie. Need I say more? They added Luma Lee, and he wasn't even that important. He could have been cut from the entire movie, and no one would have batted an eye. And yet here he is making wishful thinking of his own death. Still cool to see Aluma in the movie though, and I'm not complaining. But then we get to the credits. Guess what song they play. I'll give you a hint. Yep, that's right. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, I could never get tired of listening to this. I mean, I was in the theater when this played looking like, oh, this is so impactful. But anyways, lastly, we have Exhibit D, Rosalina herself. She has been almost everywhere since Mario Galaxy released. She's been playable in some of the Mario Kart games, a few Smash Bros games, Mario Parties, Mario Golf, Mario Sports, Mario Strikers, and Mario Tennis. They even included her as the main story element for the newest Mario and Rabbids game. And on top of it all, Nintendo even sketched a design of her that would have been implemented in Super Mario Odyssey according to a book of concept art. The only thing she's missing out on is Mario Bros. Wonder, which they used Daisy instead, which I don't know why they used Daisy, they could have been Rosalina, but they just used Daisy, I don't know why they would do that, they would deprive us, why? Speaking of Mario Wonder, the song that's used for the wonder effect in space is the same tune that plays in Mario Galaxy 2 when using the Hint TV. And with that, I rest my case. They love Mario Galaxy. We love Mario Galaxy, and they know we love Mario Galaxy, and so it feels like they've been blessing us with reference upon reference to the game. Cameo upon cameo, it almost makes you feel like they're taunting us instead. Or maybe they're just building up hype? The question soon becomes, why wouldn't they make a third game? Nintendo clearly acknowledges the existence of these games, so when will we get Mario Galaxy 3? Well, if I were to take a guess, it would hopefully release as a launch title with the Switch 2 in the spring of 2025. That is, if they make a third game. I would also imagine them dropping a bundled version that includes 1 and 2, but at this point, even hoping for a third game is pushing our luck. There's just no way to ever know. All we can do is add up the puzzle pieces, put on our thinking caps, and make the best educated guesses we can. Which brings us to our next segment, what would Mario Galaxy 3 look like? Okay, to be upfront, I'm just gonna say that Bowser capturing Peach is a no-go. He's already done that and failed. Twice. Instead, Bowser captures Rosalina, and for a number of reasons. First off, to avoid her from teaming up with Mario and foiling his plans again. Second, he's gonna want information from her. If he is to ever rule the universe effectively, there's no better way than to ask the Queen of the Cosmos herself. And third, while he's at it, he's probably gonna steal Rosalina's powers as well, draining all of her space magic to become unstoppable. With all this in mind, the state of the entire universe is at risk, creating a much stronger call to action than just Peach has been captured again. Great, fantastic start to our story. But what about Lubba and Starship Mario? Let's keep it real, a bunch of Mario fans were angered that Galaxy 2 didn't make it into 3D All-Stars, and they'd be even more furious if Nintendo were to disacknowledge it again by excluding its lore from our proposed threequel. However, Lubba isn't really worth capturing like Rosalina is. We've never really seen him do anything super powerful, but it also wouldn't be fair to allow him to buddy up with Mario for two games in a row. So my brilliant solution is for Lubba to become the hub world for Mario Galaxy 3. Hear me out! If Nintendo wants to keep things fresh, they're not gonna use Starship Mario again, or the Observatory, no matter how much we, as loyal Mario Galaxy fans, want it to happen. They need something new. Now, we all know that Lumas can turn into things like stars, planets, and even galaxies, assuming they get big enough. And this guy is already pretty chunky, if I do say so myself. Stay with me now. Just imagine how much energy is contained inside Lubba, and what he could transform into given the right conditions. Yes, the sacrifice would be kinda sad, but I mean, what's new? Given the dire circumstances and the fate of the entire universe, there would be no other choice. Lubba would transform into the new starship, the Purple Comet. You see, this is clever because it's referencing the purple coin missions and because love is purple, so it just kind of makes sense. Okay, so we finally have some direction, but now we need to focus on the details of the game, such as Mario's Companion. I'm sure most players have realized by now the pattern of each 3D Mario title, where Mario finds a small creature to assist him in his travels, and also serves as part of his moveset. We've got Flood, Luma, and Cappy as of current. For Mario Galaxy 3, I don't want to scrap Luma, but rather add on to it. Again, if this game were to actually exist, Nintendo would probably advance Luma's abilities to keep the game fresh. One of the mechanics could just be a knockoff of Cappy, where Luma acts as a platform that Mario can bounce off of. And of course, you could combo this with the spin jump to get some extra height. Another possibility is having Luma temporarily transform into a launch star to fling Mario to high areas, or to catapult him horizontally to cover ground quickly. Oh. This wouldn't replace launch stars, but rather give Mario more options to traverse a level. Speaking of levels, I would imagine there would be more open world. 
Now that we have Mario Odyssey with moons littered everywhere, it might be difficult to go back to more linear style gameplay. The planets would be larger, and each galaxy would have six main power stars per usual. The only difference being, instead of half the stars being from a prankster comet, they would all be normal stars you can collect in almost any order, like Mario 64. There would probably be about 25 levels in the game, and with 6 stars per level, that's 150 stars in the game. For reference, it takes 60 stars to beat Bowser in Mario Galaxy, and 124 moons to beat him in Mario Odyssey. However, in both of those games, you don't need to collect every moon or star in every level, so for this game, you'd only need to collect two-thirds of that, putting you at an even 100 stars. Okay, but what about prankster comments? They're a classic staple in the Mario Galaxy series. Well, for this game, comments would be something you unlock after you beat Bowser, similar to the purple or the green comment in both respective Mario Galaxy games. The comments in Mario Galaxy 3 wouldn't be for the faint of heart. These would be insane challenges that flip the level on its head. Stuff like the floor's lava or death upon touching a coin. Something that really puts your skills to the test and makes you think outside the box a little. Once you beat all those, a special world will open up, just like in every other Mario game. Of course, the final level of the Secret World would be some insanely ridiculous, devilishly hard level like Champion's Road times 10. And finally, once that's all said and done with, you'll end up unlocking Luigi oh, yeah. and have to do the whole thing over again! Alright! Super Mario Galaxy 3! There you have it! Well, ladies and gentlemen, whether Nintendo decides to bless us with this game or not, there's some food for thought to keep you occupied until the next 3D Mario releases. Until then, thank you for watching until the end, and if you like the content you're seeing, consider dropping a follow and joining the Discord, where you'll be notified of live streams and new posts. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.